you. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, and those people on Piazza Livorna, um, my, um, my task this evening is, is relatively easy. To tell a few jokes about Amy, propose a toast, sit down and let these other boys carry on. I could tell you that when we lived in the southeast of England and scorching hot summers in the early 80s, Amy could be regularly found in a lovely bright orange swimsuit, green wellington, <laughs> and a camel coloured coat. <laughs> well. She went back to the uh, video shop one Sunday afternoon in Retford <laughs> when we when we hired a video for the weekend. Um, took it in, I said, give it to the man behind the counter, which she duly did, only for him to say, thank you, young man. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 after seeing her come down the stairs this morning at home, oh. Oh. I mean, I, I'm very rarely speechless, but she absolutely took my breath away. <laughs> Not only that, as you all know, she works with me. I sometimes wonder who works for who. <laughs> so I know she's intelligent, and I know she's hard working. So what I'm going to set him at is you've got a good catch. <laughs> but, but, luck isn't just a one-way street. Because I'll tell you what I find in Matt. I find him the most thoughtful caring and loving guy that anyone could ever meet. Yeah. 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 I think that's all I'm asking for. I'm so actually waiting for that, Frank. So, uh, so, oh, we're actually looking, so we're actually looking here at the perfect match dot com. Because in my day, and probably looking round about 15% of the audience, it used to be called the blind date, long, 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 long before Silver Black came along. And your mate had said to, your mate had said to you, I've got a date on Saturday night, but she wants to bring a mate, can you come with me? You wouldn't know who it was, uh, but you, when you met her, you sort of found out that she fed on power. Internet match uh, internetmatch.com. I actually thought it was a football website. But it's an internet dating service. So He's fiddling with his computer at home, and he's fiddling, and Match.com arranged the date. And the date is in the most beautiful of surroundings, Shrewsbury Railway Station. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of my favourite films of all time, that probably the other 80% of the audience won't remember, was a film called Brief Encounter, oh, yeah. <laughs> where the dear doctor, Trevor Howard, <laughs> met the, um, the middle class housewife going up to Toyin to do her shopping, <laughs> Celia Johnson, met on a railway station, bought two cups of tea, with, with the lady behind the counter saying those immortal words, sugar's in the spoon, sugar's in the spoon. That's not really important. <laughs> all, it, all it is to demonstrate is that they probably didn't have a cup of tea. Um, I'm very sure it's something no. far stronger. <laughs> so, the scene was set. And they obviously got on with each other. I mean, <laughs> otherwise we wouldn't be in there, would we? <laughs> <laughs> you know. um, uh, Match.com had asked Matt to carry a identification which they suggested was a Liverpool FC annual Ooh, entitled, <laughs> entitled <laughs> Will We Ever See Silverware at Anfield? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and 
and Amy was asked to carry with her a copy of the recent Farmer's Weekly. <laughs> <laughs> Met they did, date they did, and the relationship set off. Um, that time, then the, the, that time they started with sleepovers. <laughs> or, or bunking down with your bit of stuff. Uh, Amy going over to the H's family home. In Wales. And, uh, <laughs> and Matt more than often found in Amy's flat. <laughs> where eventually they set up home together. Uh, from there, they moved up to Malpas, rented a, a house in Malpas, where the two families enjoyed the most really enjoyable Christmas uh, lunch. The, there must have been about 12 of us yeah. yeah. crammed into a kitchen about the size of this on two round tables. If you hadn't got down to the toilet before you sat down, you had no hope. No hope. But it was obvious at that time, seeing them working together, preparing this Christmas lunch for the both the families, how proud they were to be able to do it, but how well they worked together. So, they moved from there and bought a house in Whitchurch. Um, at that time, we used to meet on a Friday night uh, to wine bar in, in Whitchurch after work for a drink. Um, when Matt wasn't working, uh, 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 he obviously never turned up. <laughs> he was having a rest at work. Um, <laughs> and on this, on, this, on this particular Friday night, on this particular Friday night, Jolie and I had been sat there for a couple of drinks worth of time when the both of them came rushing in saying, Sorry, we're late. Just been to Tesco. And I've fallen pregnant. <laughs> uh, I, I, was, I was accused afterwards. I was accused afterwards of looking non plus. <laughs> so I, I, I just asked you to join me in, in, in dissecting this statement. We're late. Fine. Everybody's late. You can't always be on time, can you? Been to Tesco, can accept. <laughs> and what's happened? Did she trip on the way in? <laughs> did she fall outside of Tesco? <laughs> and when did going in Tesco make you pregnant? <laughs> and do you get club car points? However, pregnant she was. Um, and we all know the, the, the story then. It never, it never ever, and I'm speaking person, it never ever seemed right. There was always something about the pregnancy with, with Amy that didn't, didn't seem right. And sure enough, 24 weeks went into a premature labour. Um, young Oscar was born, survived 21 hours, and um, um, that, the, 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 it was over. In many cases, that would have been a deal breaker. That would have that would have finished any relationship. But it didn't with these two. It made them stronger. They became more reliant on each other. They could work together. They knew the future. And look at me. Within a couple of months, she tripped again. <laughs> to Tesco, saying to his little I don't know. <laughs> but what I do know, what I do know, and, and, and really sincerely, the NHS, bang on, they got duct tape, gaffer tape, <laughs> they strung her up, strung her up, there was no way, no way, this one was getting away. And what happened? Lola was born, and you've seen her today. Bloody cry, alright. 
<laughs> she is the most wonderful child that you can imagine. Yeah. And I mean, everyone who meets her, I mean, to just steal her heart. To yeah. just steal her heart. So that's bang up to date. That's bang up to date. But before I finish, uh, I hope you'll just indulge me for a moment. There's one person in here uh, that I just want to mention because I have a real admiration for him, and that's Matt's dad, Keith. Now, Keith, a few years ago, uh, decided that he was fed up of agency work. Huh? He was fed up of going from company to company. He was fed up of Monday morning wondering whether he got work or not. And he went off to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia and tax-free bloody money. <laughs> <laughs> and so with this tax-free money, he, he came home just before Christmas and said to Matt, he said, Matt, he said, we've had some, uh, some lean years in, uh, in the past, um, and I really want to get something special for you this Christmas. Now, don't get ahead of me or anybody. <laughs> don't get ahead of me. Um, he said to Matt, he said, I want to get you something special uh, for Christmas. He said, I work with the prince whose um, son loves playing with airplanes. So he bought him an airline. <laughs> 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 I tell you, don't get ahead of me. <laughs> Uh, he said, uh, I know another prince over there that, um, that um, son likes railway trains, so he bought him a, a railway company. <laughs> so he said to Matt, anything in particular? Now we all know how Matt likes the Wild West. <laughs> I think it was on the third occasion, he was dressed up as a cowgirl when I met <laughs> so, so he said, he said, you know that, he said, Thanks a lot for this, he said. I really would like a cowboy outfit. So he brought in Liverpool football. Yeah. to ask you to join me in a toast. If you rise and toast the, be the beautiful bride, the, the handsome groom, Amy and Matt Hersney. Cheers. Cheers.